I give Isla the celery stick, she's eating it, and then the next thing I know, she's like screaming, trying to like scratch her neck. Her whole face starts swelling up and is turning red, and her hands are literally like marshmallows. I was like praying in the car ride that like she would be okay. Hey, welcome back to another video. <laughs> So this is Isla's emotional support gator this morning. She's been cuddling him and she will not let go of him except for right now. She just threw him. So I guess I go back on She's my word. She's been cuddling this little alligator all morning. There's that smile. Just look at that little face. It's so perfect. Poor little eczema. So sad. So Isla's still sleeping right now. I'm honestly surprised. She usually doesn't take this long of naps. Um, so I'm very shocked. I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys. So the past few days, I've just been extremely emotional. My great grandma actually passed away a few days ago and I've just been crying, just a complete wreck. It's just so hard to process like that she's gone. I'm so blessed that I got 25 years with her. Most people don't even get to meet their great grandma. Like I am so lucky. And my great grandma was a teen mom. And then my grandma had kids young, my mom had kids young, and then I had kids young. So she got to meet her great, great grandchildren. And she lived a beautiful life and had a beautiful family. But it was very, very hard for me to process that she is gone. And my great grandpa is actually still alive and his heart is just completely broken. Their love story just reminds me of the notebook and he is just so broken and it like kills me to see him like here just so sad. And then my grandma, her heart is broken too because that was her mom. And like my mom's heart is broken, my heart is like, it's been so emotional. So my mom actually came across videos of my great grandma and they were on like VHS tapes and um, my grandpa got them converted into YouTube videos. So last night, me and Mason watched two hours of vlogs. Like they were vlogs, you guys. Like my great grandpa used to vlog. It's wild. I really saw their personality like come through the video. I just felt so much more connected and like I was there and it was just like such a magical feeling and like knowing that like everyone in my family took videos my mom used to record us all the time she has a million VHS tapes that are actually getting converted right now so I can watch all the old videos of me I just felt like so much more reassured that like me vlogging my life is so worth it because who knows if my great grandchildren will get to watch these videos. It's Watching, also cool to see their personalities go yeah. from like very shy on camera and over time you like they literally like could were see them literally develop. literally vlogging. They would like vlog and like the camera would get passed around from like Kaylee's great grandpa to Kaylee's great grandma to Kaylee's and grandma. And they all were getting so comfortable on camera. Yeah. It was just wild that like knowing my bloodlines like literally were vloggers. Like and, what are the odds? But to see the style. And everyone looked like Stranger Things. Yes. All the boys all haircuts the girls, were like just ratty all the girls and like overgrown. Hair. Oh also my great grandma was like a total fashionista mm -hmm. and her hair like was, they all had perms. Their hairs were all curly. But she always had glasses had cool and nice outfits. outfits. Like and... it was so cool to see. She was a bad bleep. Like isn't that crazy? Doesn't she look like me? So her real name's Matilda. She went by Tilly but her first grandchild couldn't say grandma and they said Gingle. So she got her name Gingle. Mm -hmm. And then Pap Pap, that's his, um, well, not his real name. His that's real name's name. Art, which is really cool. Yeah, we've also considered like if we ever had a boy, like that could potentially be a middle name. Art's Gingle's cool middle name, name was May. So if we have a girl next, her middle name's gonna be May. And that was, that supposed, was to be... supposed to be Isla's middle name. It was supposed to be Isla May. It was going to and be. very last minute we changed it to Isla Cove. Yeah, I just felt like it flowed better, but now I'm regretting like not making it May. So if we have another girl, May will be her middle name yeah. right after. So that's Angel. a guarantee, we'll, we'll stick with that. But for a boy, I think I have the name picked out, but. <laughs> What? Oh, uh, I thought you were about to say our boy name also. Oh, I'm not saying the boy. Covering the camera doesn't mean they can't hear me. Oh, yeah, that's true. We, like, knew that this day would come eventually, but yeah. we didn't think it would happen so soon. 
Yeah. Because we just moved. And then my dad called me. He was supposed to come over um, in a week. And um, my, like, childhood dog, Moki, is actually, has cancer now. And I just found out this week, too. And so my dad's not coming anymore because... Have uh, they have a lot of medical bills. I think she's gonna have like a surgery. So basically they pulled back out to save the money. So now it is snack time. And I'm going to make everyone some celery sticks and some peanut butter. A celery stick for you, plain. Oh, you want me to feed it to you? <laughs> Pick a celery stick. And yours. Mm, peanut butter. Ooh, what? yummy. We got some frozen cheese sticks. Which one do you want? I, I want this one. Yeah. Okay, Anna for Kinsley. Are right, you look? You got Olaf on yours. Yummy. How's your food, Isla? Here's some cheese. Okay guys, well it is really late at night and this day did not go how it was supposed to go. So the last you guys saw, um, the kids were eating a snack before dinner. So I gave Kinsley and Aria a celery stick with peanut butter on it and they were eating that. So then I decided to give Isla the teeniest little bit of peanut butter on a celery stick because Isla loves celery, as you guys know. And I've given Isla like peanut butter before, but it was in the form of a packet. If you guys know those little packets, um, they're for babies and they actually are supposed to like... Build a tolerance? Build a tolerance. In case there is an allergy? Yeah, or let you know if there is an allergy. We never had an issue with them, but they're like such low amounts of mm -hmm. like whatever's in them to like build a tolerance. Um, but I really thought that I would have known by now if Isla was allergic to peanut butter, but I've never given her it as like a spread. Um, so today was like the first time I gave it to her. So anyways, I give Isla the celery stick, she's eating it, she loves the peanut butter, she's licking it, and then the next thing I know, she's like screaming, like so mad. And I'm like looking at her, and I'm like, why is she screaming? Like, cause she was just eating it and she's looking like so to happy. Itch herself. And she's like trying to like scratch her neck, she's going like this, and she's just screaming. So I'm like, what the heck? So then she starts swelling up, her whole face starts swelling up, and it's turning red, like a cherry. And her hands are literally like marshmallows, like just so like puffy her face is red i'm freaking out i'm about to call 911. i'm like oh my gosh she's allergic to peanut butter i feel like she was trying to tell me her throat was closing mm -hmm. so i was freaking out about to call 911. but then mason's like by the time you call the paramedics and by the time they get here we we could have already went to the store and got benadryl so mason and i zoomed to the store we got the benadryl she did not want to take it but we just forced it down her throat so anyways so we gave her benadryl and everything went down immediately within um, minutes but i think we need to keep an eye on her because kaylee learned that apparently there could be like a second episode mm -hmm. and benadryl isn't like technically the perfect thing to give yeah. for if it's like a true severe allergic reaction that's not like the best thing to give it'd be like an epinephrine which is an epipen but we don't have that and she's a baby yeah. so like what do you do um she's in her crib right now so, like monitoring her breathing like looking at her face yeah, but i think i'm gonna go gonna grab, grab her, her in a minute so my mom has always told me to like keep benadryl in case of any emergencies were to happen and we had benadryl right we before we moved it. when we moved it, it spilled in the cardboard box and we ended up tossing it out I was like praying in the car ride that like she would be okay. Thankfully the Benadryl kicked in like so fast. Within three minutes, she was like pretty good. Yeah. So thank God this is your sign right now to get Benadryl if yeah. you don't have it. So now we have to like keep an eye on everything. I think we're going to get Benadryl and put it in like the car, in the diaper bag, in the freaking stroller. That was like easily like one of the top scariest moments of yeah. my life. Eczema is like tied to allergies. I didn't know that. I just thought eczema was like a rash. I didn't know it was like linked to allergens. Um, 
So I'm going to be getting allergy tested. I think that's very important. A lot of people are telling me to do fragrance-free detergent, fragrance-free soap, just like literally clean everything for Isla. No fragrances in anything. People are telling me not to wear perfume. Anything can trigger Isla's eczema, so. We need to figure out what it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna have so much research to do, so much to learn. Like this is gonna be a learning process for us. So anyways, we went through drive through and then came home and put the kids in bed, put Isla in bed. Isla bath Because she was so tired. Yeah, we gave her a bath because I read online like to give him a bath. We had to like completely soak down her high chair and all the spots where the peanut butter was. Mm -hmm. I scrubbed everything and with And then um, we got the girls in bed. We put Isla in bed and then we're doing, I'm doing more research and I'm like, Dude, she can have a second allergic reaction in her sleep, like within. I don't the want next to sleep through it. Twelve hours, yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways, we're gonna grab her in a minute and have her just sleep with me. So I'm definitely not going to sleep tonight, but that's okay. Like the only thing that matters at the end of the day is that I was okay. Like, After she felt better, though, she stole my whole bag of fries. <laughs> so she wasn't. She was happy. It's the craziest thing ever, you guys is that I call Isla like peanut. her number one nickname that I call right now, not boss baby, it's peanut. peanut. So I've called her peanut for months and months. Like, Since she was born. Yeah, like I just am like, when I look at her, I'm like my little peanut and like how now ironic. Now you're like my little peanut allergen. How <laughs> ironic is that? <laughs> you, it's your fault then. You jinxed it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have peanut allergies or if your kid has peanut allergies. Give us some tips and tricks. Yes, and like please, please, fill please. Fill us with information to consume so mm -hmm. we know what to do. Yeah, I'll be um, reading all these comments.